Hey there, everybody, it's just 99 and, um, this is kind of like a quick little random video, um, I'm sorry, I haven't been uploading recently, um, kind of been on a trip to a known place, just for viewers there, um, I recently got back, and now I'm ready for my videos, yeah, and I was just, like, my house setting up some Christmas decorations and stuff, and while I'm at it, I found this thing, like, sitting in my attic collecting dust for the past, I don't know. I thought it would just be an interesting video just to kind of show you the entire set I found here. Like a... Uh, it's kind of like a little, kind of like a blog slash review video thing, I guess. Uh, we have an Atari here. It's actually a... Remember I got this, like, years ago, like, I think it was like three years ago from, um, uh, some family members who found this, like, in their closet or something, I don't know, like, um, they gave it to me, I, like, wasn't able to use it because I, like, didn't have, the, like, one of the cords there, and, uh, pretty much just, uh, I don't know, just found its way to the attic, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, some pictures of games, and, uh, TV not included. Target fun cartridge included. Now, uh, let's go to the system itself. This here is the Atari that came with it. Uh, looks very good. A little wood thing there, video arcade. Nostalgic little switch flippers. Um, I know, like, I found there, like, they kind of fell out of the box. Uh, a few games there. Um, Defender. Pitfall. Uh, uh, this one's kind of spider fighter. I don't know how it got so dirty. Um, Miss Pac-Man. Of course, everyone knows Miss Pac-Man. It's the only way you can find nowadays. Frogger, yeah. Um, twenty-seven telegames, shooting gallery planes, submarine ships. I'm not really sure what that one is. Um, this, uh, um, baseball, football, and aerial blast, and it's really all the games there, but literally, some of the most interesting stuff I found there, like, various papers that came with these games there. You have a pitfall instructions here, a nice artwork there, I got pitfall here, I believe this name is officially called. Various little enemies there. Um, Defender game instructions. Uh, you, you got a city, you got a ship in the back, you, you got a girl on there for some reason. I don't know what she has to do with the game. Um, this one, uh, this one was a actually kind of an interesting one for this Atari game River Raid. And actually, like, the cover of this actually, like, operation, like, like, a plans for it. I found that kind of interesting and neat. Um, Another one, uh, Super Challenge Football Instructions. Um, uh, Target Fun Instructions. Hmm. Uh, I didn't really take too much time to look at that one there. This, uh, this, like, a uh, game catalog there actually looks, uh, pretty neat. And I know in the background there it has, like, a, uh, it has, like, little symbols for different things there. For, like, a, uh, I don't know, there's a few, like, a, uh, the uh, Baboom, um, whatever that game is, I can't remember. Uh, there's, uh, various other little, uh, things there, um, like this, a heck of a lot bigger catalog there. Pretty much got a bunch of games there. This one here actually kind of made me laugh, like what it says. The command, the command control. I love this here. Congratulations, you've just purchased the finest joystick money can buy. I don't, I don't know, it just sounds humorous. And that was like 20 years ago. This is Spider Fighter Bug Briefing. Actually, a neat, kind of neat looking uh, cover for uh, this Atari game Spider Fighter there. So, uh, creepy bug art. Yeah. Owner's Manual, yeah. Um, this one actually I found kind of neat because it was, it was a little like a history lesson to myself, though. This Pac-Man thing there. Once they go inside there, it actually gives kind of like a briefing. 
a little thing there, like an auto-adjusting game there, and just got some stuff. I actually, one of the interesting parts is in the back, I actually had some, like, old scores from uh, many of my family members who had it last there. Um, just, uh, just scores and dates and stuff, and I'll, all of them seem to be on the 80, 1983. But I pretty much the coolest thing, I'll, well, before I get to that, I'll just, uh, do some stuff here, the, the paddle, like, stuff like the pong and stuff. Uh, this this point master controller there. Uh, the, I don't know why they have so many freaking controllers. Uh, this this one with like two fire buttons. I think that was like the the one with the the, the best thing you could buy there. This one was actually probably the most interesting one. Uh, uh, this centipede comic, like by BC Comics apparently. It's like uh. It kind of gives this like a story thing to the arcade and Atari game Centipede, which I actually found kind of will be normally difficult to do with the usual arcade games, not having pretty much having little to no story, but some exceptions like Dragon's Lair and Donkey Kong and stuff like that. I found this one actually kind of cool. It's some good art. It's actually, pretty neat. Yeah, it's a just nostalgic look at this uh, Atari thing I found here. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't show any gameplay footage because it's like missing one of the cords and it can't hook up to a TV. There. It's a although I have play, I have this like little plug and play that has like twelve games in there. So, uh, so in a way, I've kind of played this here. Like, you, you got the game there, you set it in there, click. You flip the switch and then you play a game and you get bored after five minutes. Yeah. Sorry.